It just it was a short year ago. Marcus Muddle and Riverboat King won the final. Who's going to win this one? Well, we'll know in about two minutes and 45 seconds from now. As nine of the greatest three-year-old pacers that harness racing has to offer in the year 2001 are moving up and moving in for the 35th edition of the Adios. Fasten those seat belts. From the inside out, we got Ready Cash, Pine Valley, Oaks Enforcer, LCB, fully loaded, Hoosier Boy, Peruvian Hanover, full of fun, on the outside, on the attack. The gate swings around the turn, and there they go for the Adios final. and pacing that Peruvian Hanover going right out for the early lead on the inside ready cash up on the outside on the attack into the turn Pine Valley gets away fourth racing fifth into the turn Oaks Enforcer racing sixth LCB racing seventh fully loaded eighth is Hoosier Boy I'm trailing the field full of fun as they race around the turn going to the first quarter a very slow 28 and 2. Passing a stand of the first time. Nobody wants to go a normal speed, so the back of the pack's out and moving. On top of the field, on the attack. Peruvian Hanover second. Ready Cash racing third. Pine Valley fourth. First up on the outside, Oaks Enforcer is fifth. Up the inside, full of fun sixth. LCP seventh. Fully loaded is eighth. Treading the field. Who's your boy? Half in 57 and two. One of the slowest first halves ever in the Adios. Down the back side they go. On top of the field, it's on the attack. Racing second, Peruvian Hanover. Here comes Ready Cash. First up on the outside. Now third, now second. On the outside, Oaks Enforcer is fourth. Inside Pine Valley fifth. LCB's about to go three wide for Dave Pullum. Now six, but he's got to make up five. Three quarters, 124 and one. 26 and four. Backside. Ready Cash grabs the lead. Coming to the stretch. Peruvian Hanover on the outside. Into the Lightning Lane, Pine Valley. Peruvian Hanover, Ron Pierce grabs the lead. On the inside, Pine Valley. Brian C and Pine Valley win the Adios, 152 and two. Up the lightning lane to get the victory into the winner's circle. The local contingent led by our caretaker of Pine Valley, Darla Phillips. Oh, look at her. She's <laughs> yeah, big win for Darla and Pine Valley. On by Edward Franz, John Knight, Daniel Miller, Charles Gata, Pennsylvania, David Knight, the trainer, Brian Sears, gets his fourth win of the afternoon and the biggest win in his entire racing career. He's had a lot of them, a lot of them right here at the Meadows, but none compare to winning the Adios this afternoon. The three-year-old Colt, the Jenna's Beach Boy, out of a sale, taking a lifetime mark. One, 52 and two. Final half, 55. Final quarter, 28 and one. Second win and eight this season. As he has done for all 35 Adioses, Quentin Patterson, along with general manager, put the blanket of orchids on Pine Valley. And by the way, we've got a corrected time, a corrected time. We had a malfunction of the timer. It's a lifetime mark for Pine Valley, 151. Four fifths, 151, four fifths for Pine Valley. Some of those uh, fractional times may be wrong as well, so we'll check that out. It's not the largest crowd in the winner's circle, 
But I'll guarantee you, most of them from the Meadows, as one of her hometown horses come home. You see John Knight there in the white shirt. For many years, he was the presiding judge here at the Meadows. He comes back now as an owner of an Adios winner. And over $9.920, finishing third.